Okay, uh, welcome students. Uh, once we are joining once again for the online lecture. <clears throat> uh, this is the second lecture for MIS class uh, that is uh, that I will be delivering online. In uh, first part lecture, uh, in the first lecture we covered a uh, few topics related to this chapter number four, ethical and social issues in information system. This will be part two of the same lecture. So let's move on with the lecture okay so the first topic that we will be covering is uh, what are some of the uh, some of the uh, technological trends that raise ethical issues so basically uh, these are the five uh, technological trends that have led to ethical issues the first one is that uh, the computing power is doubling every 18 months now there is very fast pace as far as the power of computing is concerned it is increasing at a very fast pace and uh, this trend has made it possible for most organizations to use organization to, uh, to use information system for their core production processes uh, so we see that more and more businesses are now relying on information systems. As a result, uh, our dependence on systems and our vulnerability to system errors and poor data quality have increased. The more we are becoming dependent on technology, the more chances of uh, losses due to errors or due to uh, you know pro problems. Uh, or poor quality data are increasing. Social rules and laws have not adjusted to this dependence, right? So uh, just look at the speed with which technology increasing, the rules and laws are not increasing or they are not being developed at the same pace. So uh, there is a gap there. And most of the time, this gap is creating many ethical issues. Standards for ensuring accuracy and reliability of information systems are not universally accepted or enforced. So that is another challenge that is being faced uh, by the businesses worldwide that the standards uh, which are defined for ensuring the accuracy and reliability of information systems are not universally accepted or enforced. So that is one trend, uh, increase in uh, computing power at a very fast speed and comparatively uh, the development of laws and regulations are not at the same pace and as a result uh, we are facing many ethical challenges and issues the second trend that is creating ethical issues is data storage costs are rep are declining rapidly uh, now this is this has become responsible this has uh, been this is now responsible for multiplying databases on individuals employees customers and potential customers now this these databases are maintained by private and public organizations um, these advances in data storage have made the routine violation of individual privacy both cheap and effective right so since the data is available at so many different places uh, Protection of that data has become a big challenge and uh, violation of that privacy has become very cheap. Massive data storage systems are inexpensive enough for regional and even local retail retailing firms to use in identifying customers. So uh, <clears throat> this uh, trend of that has re um, that that is resulting in this decline decline in the cost of storage uh, because of that. Uh, so, so much data is available and that protection of that data is a big challenge and uh, availability of data at multiple sources is also a big challenge to uh, to protect the privacy of individuals as well as for the in for the businesses 
The third trend is advances in data analysis techniques. Uh, for large pools of data are another technological trend that heightens ethical concerns because companies and government agencies are able to find out highly detailed personal information about individuals. So uh, with contemporary data management tools, companies can assemble and combine the different pieces of information about you and that is stored on computers much more easily than the past. Now, uh, there is a, a advancement in this data analysis techniques and because of that, it has become possible to analyze the data and to find different patterns in the data, which was not possible uh, before these advancements. So this is also uh, resulting in, uh, so because of that, large scale population surveillance is enabled. And uh, this is another big challenge that is creating problem. Okay, so uh, as far as the four trend networking advances, this is another technological trend that uh, we are observing. Advances in networking include including the internet promise to reduce greatly the costs of moving and assessing the accessing large quantities of data and open the possibility of mining large pools of data remotely by using small desktop machines, mobile devices, and cloud servers, permitting an invasion of privacy on a scale and with the precision, therefore unimaginable. Okay, so data and networking advances has made it possible. Uh, it, it, it is now possible to move data from one place to another within seconds, within fraction of seconds. Large files can be transmitted and as a result uh, any data is it is it has become possible to transmit any data from one place to another uh, so this uh, advancement in networking technologies has is now creating problem of protection of data as well as protection of um, this intellectual property the last the fifth trend that is creating uh, technological uh, the trend that is creating the ethical concerns is advancement in mob mobile device growth impact. Individual cell phones may be tracked without user consent or knowledge. The always on device becomes a tether. So uh, the way mobile technology is a, uh, it has become popular, everyone is using this technology um, and uh, these mobile phones, especially the smartphones, they can be considered as uh, they have the same capability as the desktop computers. So a lot of data is available on your mobile phones and that data can easily be tracked and that can be, uh, you know, without even your consent or knowledge that can be um, consulted, that can be access, accessed by any person. So this is another uh, problem that, uh, more and more people are relying on mobile devices and that is really creating more problem for the individuals. Okay, so these are five trends that we have discussed here. These are five technological trends that are because of the ethical concerns, the ethical issues, especially protection of privacy, protection of intellectual property. And these are all the issues that are in trends that are created. Number one, computing power is doubling every 18 months. So, there is an exponential growth in computing power. That is one trend that is leading to this ethical problems. Uh, data storage costs are de rapidly declining because of which it has become possible to store large amount of data. You can data store a lot of data. And that data is stored in a lot of So protection of data is a challenge. And that's why there are privacy issues. Uh, the third trend is that data analysis there are many advancements in it and use advanced techniques to use uh, different relationships establish kiya ja sakte hain individual ke profiles maintain kiya ja sakte hain individual ki activities ko monitor kiya ja sakta hai to ye sare wo cheeze hain jinki wajah se ethical issues raise hote hain chauthi cheez jo humne baat ki wo networking advances ki baat ki ke ji advancements in network technologies uski wajah se transmit transmission of data has become very convenient and it has become very speed fast. You can easily transmit any quantity of data from one place to another, any file from one place to another. So that uh, the, the problem is that 
control controlling or protecting the data has become another issue or uh, the fifth trend we have discussed kiya wo mobile device growth ki baat ki ki har ek ke paas every individual is now using smartphones and lot of data is stored on the, those smartphones you are doing your banking transaction you are going doing e-commerce using that mobile phones uh, any any activity that you are going on the, doing uh, on the internet through using your smartphones that is a potential uh, leak a pro- potential problem for privacy to isliye ye ye five uh, trends and give us a uh, ethical concerns ye wo zyada increase ho rahe okay now move on to the next topic uh, related to this same topic that jo abhi hum discuss ki that is customer profiling now think of all the ways you generate computer information about yourself uh, you are using your credit card you are using telephone call you are making telephone calls uh if you are making some subscription for the magazines it can not only reveal your credit information um so it can also you know reveal your uh, likes and dislike kid ki kis type of uh, what type of magazines you are uh, subscribing uh, what type of videos you are renting and if you are purchasing online that can also be tracked uh, your banking records can be tracked local state and federal government records including court and police records and visits to different websites so uh, wherever you are uh, you know doing any activity online that activity is recorded somewhere and once it is available there it can be put together and mined properly uh, and uh, uh, so it will give you uh, uh, it, it if if it is uh, put together it will give, make a profile of you ki okay, what kind of person you are what are your likes and dislike what are your um, most popular activities now if that data is you know uh, compiled and a dossier or a profile of about you is prepared so then this information is sought by the companies who wants to run their marketing campaigns because based on that they can run their uh, marketing campaigns the use of computer to combine data from multiple sources and create electronic dossiers of detailed information on individual is called profiling ठीक है तो ये सारा जो प्रोसेस है कि गेटिंग डाटा फ्रॉम ऑल दिस डिफरेंट सोर्सेज और देन कंबाइनिंग दैट डाटा टू क्रिएट एन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डोजियर इज कॉल्ड प्रोफाइलिंग ठीक है तो ये कस्टमर प्रोफाइलिंग जो है इट इज वेरी कॉमन नाउ डेज हाउ दिस कस्टमर प्रोफाइलिंग इज कैरिड आउट फ्यू एग्जाम्पल्स आर डिस्कस्ड हेयर वन ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल इज डबल क्लिक वट इज डबल क्लैक क्लिक इट इज अ सर्विस ओन्ड बाय द by google and it is an internet adver- advertising broker it is used to track the activities of the visitors in exchange for revenue from advertisements based on visitor information double click gathers right so wherever you are visiting different websites you are using any uh, you know search engine so uh, this double click is uh, a website which is keeping track of all your activities and then Uh, it is a service owned by the google and based it, so basically tracking all the all, all your activities it is able to uh, gather information about you and that information is obviously in, important for marketing firms or other people who are interested in getting those information that information another example is that of choice point now this choice point is it gathers data from police criminal and motor vehicle records credit and employment histories current and previous addresses professional licenses and insurance claims to assemble and maintain electronic dossier on almost every adult in united states so choice point is a service which is uh, used in united states and it is used to gather information from all different those different sources that i mentioned the company sells this personal information to businesses and government agencies theek hai to choice point is gathering that information and then uh, the objective is to sell it to uh, businesses and government agencies okay another data analysis technique 
called NORA. NORA stands for Non-Obvious Relationship Awareness. Uh, it has given both the government and the private sector even more profile, powerful profiling capabilities. NORA can take information about people from many disparate sources, take a different sources of information letter, such as employment applications, telephone cards, customer listings, and wanted lists and correlate relationships to find obscure hidden connection that might help identify criminal or terrorist. You can say it is a service which is used by the government agencies and the objective is to identify the criminals and terrorists. Uh, so this service is also getting data from all different sources. Uh, as mentioned here that it can uh, get information about you from your employment applications, uh, from your call records, telephone records, uh, from your purchasing or purchasing pattern, online buying, as well as uh, from the police record, wanted lists. Uh, so all of this information is correlated with each other to find a connection. Uh, so Basically, they find a connection connection of one individual with other individuals. So a group can be identified, which can help identify the criminals. So if a group of criminals is there, it can be identified. Or if it, there is a group of terrorists, can that can also be identified by using this non-obvious relationship awareness tech, uh, tool. Okay, next. Here is uh, this uh, diagram which explains non-obvious relationship awareness, uh, how it gathers information. So it is get, getting your information about the individuals from uh, different sources, such as the watch list. If you are, if someone is put on watch list by the agencies, government agencies, and against the law, your criminal activity, so that can be he can be put on watch list. Incident and arrest systems. So if someone is involved in that, so that can be this information can be obtained from the police department. Customer transaction system. So any transactions that are carried out online, that can be of data from that can be obtained from there. All your telephone records can be obtained from the telephone companies and uh, your employment history or your applications for uh, different employments that can be obtained from the HR systems. All of this information is gathered and then uh, analysis is conducted. And based on that, uh, different type of relationships are established, which otherwise are not possible. And then those, based on that, uh, non-obvious relationship alerts are generated against a group of individuals, as I mentioned earlier, if there is a group that is involved in criminal activities, that can be highlighted. Or if there is a group that is involved in um, terrorist activities, that can be highlighted through this this uh, tool. Okay, now uh, we move on to the, to the big challenges uh, that are being faced because of the internet. There are two big challenges. One is the protection of individual privacy, and the other is the protection of intellectual property. So let's discuss first this, that how internet challenges the protection of individual privacy. Internet technology has posed new challenges for the protection of individual privacy. Information sent over this vast network of networks may pass through many different computer systems before it reaches its final destination. Each of these systems is capable of monitoring, capturing, and storing communications that pass through it. So we all know that uh, internet, what is internet? It is network of networks. So there are so many networks that are connecting over the internet. So whatever information is passing through these in, uh, different networks, each of these systems is capable, you know, whichever network the information is passing through, whichever network that information can be monitored, that can be captured, and that can be that communication can be stored and then it can be obviously passed uh, that can be uh, you know used for whatever reasons it uh, this activity is conducted websites can learn the identities of their visitors if the visitors voluntarily register at the site to purchase a product or service 
or to obtain a free service such as information so whatever searches you are conducted on search engine that can be uh, tracked okay. similarly if you are purchasing something online that uh, gives an in information about your likes and dislike your buying pattern ठीक है ऐसा ही होता है जब आप कोई ऑनलाइन स्टोर से कुछ चीज परचेज कर लेते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू हैव परचेज अ बुक फ्रॉम Amazon सो नेक्स्ट टाइम व्हेन यू विजिट द वेबसाइट इज आइडेंटिफाइंग यू बाय योर नेम ठीक है तो वो इंफॉर्मेशन कहां से आ गई उन्होंने वो इंफॉर्मेशन आपकी स्टोर की हुई है और दे आर सजेस्टिंग यू सर्टेन टाइटल्स बेस्ड ऑन योर प्रीवियस परचेज ठीक है तो वो उनको कैसे पता चल गया कि वो उनके पास डाटा अवेलेबल है कि लास्ट टाइम यू परचेज अ सर्टेन uh category of the book and now they are offering the same uh, titles belonging to the uh, that category websites can also capture information about visitors without their knowledge using cookie technology so how they uh, the websites they capture information about you for that the technology used is called cookie cookies are small text files deposited on a computer hardware hard drive when a user visits website theek hai jab bhi aap koi website visit karte hain to ek small text file jo hai wo aapke computer ke hard drive pe jo hai wo store kar di jati hai cookies identify the visitors browser software and track visits to the website acha ab ye jo soft ye jo aapke text file unhone aapke desktop pe aapke sorry hard drive mein save ho gayi to this is called cookie and this cookie identify wo aapke web browser ko identify karti hai wo aapke different websites ki jo aap visit kar rahe hain unko track karti hai when the visitor returns to a site that has stored a cookie the website software will search the visitor's computer find the cookie and know what that person has done in the past theek hai jab aapne first time ek website ko visit kiya to ye cookie jo hai thi aapki hard drive pe save kar di gayi jab aap dobara visit karenge to yahi वेबसाइट जो है क्या करेगी पहले अपनी उस कुकी को वहां से एक्सेस करेगी वहां से आपकी लास्ट विजिट की इंफॉर्मेशन को एक्सेस करेगी एंड देन बेस्ड ऑन दैट इट विल यू नो इट विल कम्युनिकेट विद यू इट मे आल्सो अपडेट द कुकी डिपेंडिंग ऑन द एक्टिविटी ड्यूरिंग द विजिट ठीक है अब जो आपने इस दफा सेकंड विजिट किया उसके अंदर वट एवर एक्टिविटी यू हैव डन दैट विल ऑल्सो बी स्टोर्ड इन द कुकी सो योर कुकी दैट इज स्टोर्ड ऑन द हार्ड ड्राइव विल बी अपडेटेड In this way, the site can customize its content for each visitor's interest. ठीक है तो इसलिए ये कोई this is not a magic के जी जब आप किसी website पे visit कर रहे हैं और वो आपको address कर रहे हैं by their name, वो that is all used by, that is all done carried out by through this cookie technology. Uh, as I gave you the example of Amazon, so whenever you purchase something on Amazon, next time you visit that site, it will, you know, it will. welcome you with the with your name and recommend the books of interest based on your past purchases uh double click that we discussed earlier double click uses cookie to build the, its dossiers with details of online food purchases and to examine the behavior of website visitors theek hai to ye jo double click hai wo bhi ye cookie technology ko use karti hai jisse wo aapke dossier prepare ho rahe hain okay next is uh, Uh, web beacons this is another technology which is used to monitor online behavior web beacons are also called web bugs and they are tiny objects invisibly embedded in email messages and web pages that are designed to monitor the behavior of the user visiting a website or sending email so web beacons uh, basically use your email messages and uh, they are also the objective is also the same to monitor the behavior of the user uh, visiting a website as well as sending email the web beacons the web beacon captures and transmits information such as the ip address like internet protocol address of the user's computer the time a web page was viewed and for how long now this information is uh, you know it is uh, captured by web beacon ke ji uh, what time you visited a web uh, how many times you have visited a web page and for how long and the type of web browser that retrieved the beacon and previously set cookie values web beacons are placed on popular websites by third party firms who pay the website a fee for access to their audience typical popular websites contain 25 to 35 web beacons right so like if you are visiting cnn or if you are visiting any 
um, you know popular website it can be related to sports it can be related to you know weather so uh, you, the websites which are commonly accessed by the people so you can expect the uh, web beacon, the uh, presence of web beacons on those websites as mentioned here top typically you koi bhi popular website hai uske upar 25 se 35 tak web beacons paaye jate hain acha ji ye to kuch humne tech tools dekh liye ke jo use kiye jate hain for uh, accessing assessing the uh, information about the online visitors online users now another thing that is uh, used for uh, get uh, for getting information about the online visitor is spyware spyware can secretly install itself on an internet user computer by piggybacking on larger applications once install the spyware calls out to websites to send banner ad and other unsolicited material to the user and it can also report the user's movement on the internet to other computers so spyware जैसे हम कहते हैं कि भाई ये आपके ऊपर स्पाइंग कर रहा है आपकी जासूसी कर रहा है तो स्पाईवेयर इज बेसिकली वही काम करता है जो जासूस करता है कि वो आपकी एक्टिविटीज के ऊपर नजर रखता है तो दिस स्पाईवेयर इज इंस्टॉल्ड ऑन द यूजर्स कंप्यूटर बाय वंस यू डाउनलोड सर्टेन एप्लीकेशन ठीक है कुछ चीजें आप वेबसाइट पर कोई प्रोग्राम्स डाउनलोड करते हैं कोई गेम्स डाउनलोड करते हैं तो उसके साथ ये स्पाईवेयर भी आपके कंप्यूटर पे इंस्टॉल हो जाता है और फिर वो आपके बारे में वो उस जो है वो ट्रैक आपकी एक्टिविटीज़ को ट्रैक करता है बेस्ड ऑन दैट आपको बैनर एड्स आना शुरू हो जाते हैं और इसी तरह से वट एवर थिंग्स ऑफ योर इंटरेस्ट आर दे स्टार्ट पॉपिंग पॉपिंग अप ऑन योर इंटरनेट तो वो सारी इंफॉर्मेशन कहाँ से आ रही होती है दैट इज थ्रू दिस स्पाईवेयर ओके how much time we have okay i think here we'll uh, make a break theek okay, hai i want to make it in, uh, in this uh, presentation in smaller chunks so that uh, uh, it is easy for you people to absorb theek hai main ye bahut lambi presentation nahi banana chahta i will jo bhi hamara lecture usko main chote chunks ke andar divide kar dunga taki aap usko aasani se samajh sake to just go through uh, uh, just a रिव्यू ऑफ टूडेज लेक्चर कि क्या चीज़ें हमने डिस्कस की वी डिस्कस वी डिस्कस वी मच टू 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 थ्री यू कैन से थ्री टॉपिक्स वी डिस्कस टूडे द फर्स्ट वन वॉज दिस वट आर द की टेक्नोलॉजिकल ट्रेंड्स दैट हाइट एंड एथिकल कंसर्नस ठीक है तो ये आपके सामने जो एक टेबल है उसके अंदर वो सारे एथिकल कंसर्नस आ गए हैं और क्या इम्पैक्ट वो क्रिएट कर रहे हैं वो हमने डिस्कस कर लिया दूसरी चीज़ हमने डिस्कस की वो कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ कस्टमर प्रोफाइलिंग व्हाट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ कस्टमर प्रोफाइलिंग एंड व्हाट आर द टूल्स दैट आर यूज्ड जिसमें हमने डबल क्लिक चॉइस पॉइंट और नॉन ऑबियस नॉरा नॉन ऑबियस रिलेशनशिप अवेयरनेस की बात की और थर्ड थिंग दैट वी डिस्कस टूडे इज इंटरनेट चैलेंजेस टू द प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ इंडिविजुअल प्राइवेसी सो दीज वी आर मेकिंग अ break here and uh, go through this uh, part of the lecture and uh, if you have any queries note down those queries and then we can uh, may see how those queries can be addressed through discussion forum on lms or we can have a short meeting as well uh, on zoom to address those queries thank you very much